What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Feels good to be out on the rod. Just joining me today in the crew, we've got Fagan. And uh, Matt's joining us as well on his low rider. Fagan's obviously on his street bob. The both put man to shame for decibels, it's ridiculous, it's a class. <laughs> so, topic of the hour, the new Harley Davidson range. What's everyone think? I'm quite excited to be honest. Four new bikes. You've got the Harley Davidson Live Wire, which has been rumoured for a bit. I've seen the uh, the videos of it and stuff like that over the past year or two. You know, there's always been rumours about that, and I'm pretty excited to see it. I've seen some of the test rides that have happened on that have been happening on YouTube. Pretty excited to see that, and obviously it's it's the new future. It's the way technology's going now. Obviously, oil isn't going to last forever. Petrol's not going to be around, so. I guess we've got to embrace it, so I'm pretty excited to see what technology that brings. We've obviously got the Pan American as well. The Pan American is sort of like a uh, an adventure bike, it's a dual sport bike. Not my cup of tea, but it, re it looks really good. It does look really good. Don't know how good it's going to be, but you know, the British Army have used Harley Davidson motorbikes, you know, off road bikes for years, so. I do know that they have explored that territory in the past, so let's see what they can bring to the table. We've also got the Street Fighter. Uh, it looks a little bit like the X Diavel by Ducati. Looks really impressive, like really aggressive, and yeah, I mean, I don't. I think it's, it's going to be powered by a 997cc motor. Don't quote me, but just under a litre. Again. Excited to see what that looks like. Looks like an absolute wheelie machine, but who knows? And then you've got, from the pictures, my favourite. You've got the 1250 Custom. Obviously, all these bikes, apart from the the live wire, are, are uh, liquid cooled. So <clears throat> you know, people are going on about, oh, it's a new, it's about time Harley done it, blah 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 blah. But I think the people I've spoken to, it's a bit, it's a bit of a divide at the minute. Yes. Harley Davidson should explore the liquid cool option more. That's not to say that they haven't already. I'm sat in a liquid cooled Harley Davidson now from 2003. So they've already done it and they do a damn good job at it at that. I love my bike. So they got rid of the, the V-Rod, which I was pretty pretty pissed off about actually, Harley, if you're listening to this. But you've somewhat redeemed yourself with bringing out these new bikes. I think the custom 1250 looks awesome. You know, it's got the pipes that are tucked right up big fat wheels on the front and back I'm uh, I'm digging it man can't wait to see it I've been reading some of the comments on Instagram and on the, the forums and stuff like that again people are already saying it's not a real Harley it's not this it's not that well f you know what it doesn't have to be air cool does it be a Harley it says it on the tank Harley people need to get over it we're in the 21st century now Harley Davidson have done some really great things in the past, but let's not forget the roots. Harley Davidson have been in motor racing and motorsports for decades. They started out doing it. They didn't start out making cruises like, you know, diners and stuff like that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with diners, but we've got to move with the times. Again, technology's moving on. Other manufacturers in the market are moving on. Indian are doing new things now. It's about time Harley stepped the game up. I'm glad they listened. One of the press releases said, unapologetic that means that no fucks are given they're doing it because they want to do it and that's the type of aggression Harley Davidson needs so I welcome it you know the, the air cool motors are not going to disappear overnight that's for certain but let's see what the future brings 2019-20 that's when they're coming let's just see <clears throat> I'll stick the press video that Harley released day before yesterday and now see what you think One hundred and fifteen years ago, the four young men who founded this company took their first motorcycle for a ride. They were pioneers of a new kind of freedom. Their dream was to give the world something better than people could get from the horses and bicycles of the day. 
Times change, but the mission of Harley-Davidson doesn't. Bring more freedom to the world. Get ready. We're blowing the doors wide open. We're leading the way and taking the thrill of riding into the future. We're exploring our routes to invent what's next. And we're creating more new products that are easier to ride than a bicycle. Just twist the throttle and go. We are riders. We don't sit still and watch the world go by. We take off on new adventures and head for new places. Some of the things we do are going to raise some eyebrows because this is about inventing new ways to thrive in a new world. And we're just getting started. We're bringing our brand of freedom to new people and new markets across the world. We're creating new shopping experiences and easier ways for people to connect with Harley-Davidson. And through it all, we'll continue to improve the motorcycles loved by riders all over the world in ways that most people can't imagine. But we can. We're running wide open because this is about the pursuit of freedom. So there's the video, pretty cool eh? Come on Harley, let's get your name out there. I think it's what Harley needs, a bit of good publicity, especially with what's going on with the, the Trump thing and, and the taxes and moving the factories overseas and obviously to close the Kansas factory down. That's where this bike was made, the Kansas factory. You know, it, that's been a really controversial move for Harley Davidson. But you know what, this is exactly what it might need. They've already said that they're gonna uh, inject some money into the brand they're going to open new retail outlets they're going to explore new ways of buying bikes a new way of buying different uh, accessories and clothing and all that so let's see what they can do at the end of the day it's a good it's a good move it's a step in the right direction so i'm happy go harley good job way to go so with that being said i'm going to end the video let me know what you think down below in the comments yeah spark a conversation up see what you think as always, make sure you subscribe. By the way, guys, I want to say a big thank you to everyone. I've hit that 100 milestone. As of right now, I'm at 101 subscribers. Just like the Dalmatians, baby. But Quirla de Ville ain't going to take these away. I've been able to verify my account and register my custom link. So that's all down to you. I'm really, really happy with that. That happened this morning. So again, big thanks to everyone who supports me. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos, comments, gives me the thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. And until next time, guys, ride safe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.